welcome back to my channel for another video. So today is actually a Saturday and I normally do not vlog on a Saturday, but um, Nelson just took us out for breakfast. It was super yummy. Um, and now we are headed down to the shop at his parents' place to work on a couple projects that we wanna work on. Um, so I thought I would kind of bring you guys along with and show you some projects that we hopefully will work on a little bit um, for our house, just some different things. Um, that I am gonna be doing hopefully um, so I thought I'd bring you guys with for a part of the day so you could kind of see what I'm up to and maybe just to give you an interesting vlog for the day have seen sorry it's right outside um we stopped at Lowe's to pick up some stuff so we picked up some paint and some hardware towel Whoa. hook kind of things at Lowe's sorry it's dark here in the shop so what we're doing today or what I want to get done hopefully is um building like a, a towel hook rack kind of thing you'll see what I mean in a bit but anyways I want to build like a white and black one like a farmhouse style one for our bathroom because yeah. we don't have one right now in there yeah. And then Nelson has a little barn from when he was a, a little boy. It's like a wooden one. I want to get Zendaya some animals for in it. And I would like to repaint it white and black, like the whole farmhouse style, whatever. So anyways, we're hanging out here in the shop. I don't know if you can see back there, but um, Nelson and Zendaya are here too. And they're running around. So anyways, that's what's up today. And I will hopefully show you all a little bit of what we're doing with our projects. Getting started took us a little bit of time and as it turned out this day Nelson ended up doing way much more work, well pretty much all of it compared to what I did. I was just chasing after Zendaya all day and maybe just sharing ideas that I had with him and that type of thing. But anyhow, we started, Nelson got these like extra pieces of trim that they had in the shop and that's what we ended up using for the towel rack. Um, and you'll see how it comes together in the very end, but I was just wiping them down kind of getting the dust off of them While he decided like what lengths he was gonna cut them and yeah how he was gonna even start <laughs> with making this project So to give you a little bit of an idea of where Nelson was starting, he took these two long pieces of wood and kind of built the towel rack off of them. So then he was using this trim to cut smaller pieces that were going to go vertical um, or up and down on those two long pieces of wood. So that might not make a lot of sense, but basically what he's doing is cutting like different lengths of the trim that we were using. Um, you could also just use like a plain I don't know if you would want to use a two by four or even different like um like rough wood or whatever if you wanted to have a more rugged look but he was basically cutting different lengths and then we kind of staggered them and then he used a staple gun I believe and attached them to those two long rods in the back so you'll see in the end a little bit more how it comes together but this is kind of what he's doing now and I was just showing him like the idea that I kind of had in my mind um, because I found a Pinterest pin. That's kind of where all this came from. But anyways, I was showing him that to kind of base it off of. And yeah, he did a wonderful job at recreating it and kind of putting like the touch that I wanted on it. Um, yeah, bringing that to life. It was pretty cool.
got all the different lengths of wood cut and kind of laid out to give us an idea of what it was going to look like. He then used wood glue and glued them down to those rods in the back and then stapled them as well. That way we know they're not going anywhere and they can hold the weight of towels and the hooks that we were going to put on top and not come apart. Alrighty guys, so I'm hoping that you can hear this because the air compressor is running and it's really loud at the moment. Um, but this is what the towel rack looks like so far. So Nelson used, I think, staples and then attached it to these two rods you can see here in the back that we will use to hang it up. And then we have five hooks to go on it. So it's going to get all painted white like, um, and the hooks are black. So it's going to be very farmhouse style. It's pretty long, but the style of it is kind of like um, almost a piece of decor in and of itself. So it's going to go on our long empty wall in our bathroom. But anyhow, thought I would show you guys kind of what it um, looks like at the moment before we do some more work on it. So yeah, this is what it looks like so far. And Nelson just used old trim pieces that he cut like different lengths um, and just fastened them together. So yeah, that's what the boards are. After Nelson had everything attached, he then went and filled in all the holes from the staples just so you had that nice finished um, white look or whatever in the end. You didn't have just the random staple holes kind of showing up on every single um, piece of board or whatever. So after that then, we had gotten some spray paint and even though the trim was white in the first place, um, Nelson just spray painted everything white and then took a paintbrush and kind of brushed over it to give it more of a textured look instead of just being like a shiny finished um, spray painted look.
By this time, I was getting super excited at how everything was coming together. I had been um, in the house for a little bit with Zendaya, so I came out and kind of saw like what part Nelson was working on. I was so excited. So we got these hooks at Lowe's. Um, these were the style that we had wanted for the towel rack, and they're just plain black. And Nelson just attached them through um, the pieces of trim or the vertical boards into those rods in the very back. So they are nice and stable and they definitely will hold a good amount of weight and the length got pretty big but i definitely love it all right you guys so this project is finished minus it like sitting for a little bit um nelson just put these hooks on i was actually um took zendaya inside for a little bit so we were not out here in the shop but anyways so he's been working a little bit by himself um but yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like finished. He filled in all the holes from, you can barely see them here, from the nails um, or from the staples. Sorry, wrong word. And yeah, then put these black hooks on. We got these at Lowe's today. And then painted, we had painted these boards uh, like white with a spray paint. And then he took a brush and kind of like gave them more of like a, a rough brushed finish look. I don't know if you can see it. They're kind of like, yeah, like a rough brushed finish so it gives it a little bit more of a rustic farmhouse look but yeah that's kind of what I was going for is like farmhouse um style uh towel hooks so yep this is done now and the great thing is that we can use it for a coat rack at some point in the future or something like that but for now it is going to be a rack for the towels in our bathroom so the other project that Nelson's been working on that I was supposed to be working on but yeah have not been is this barn so this was all red down here and this is black it's the roof um and it was his when he was a little boy i wish i would have got some before shots of it but i didn't which is totally fine but anyways we're repainting it white and black to give it more of like a farmhouse style and then it will match in with my living room so it's kind of one of those cute sentimental toys that also will kind of match in with my decor so this is the next thing that we're working on and then it needs i think nelson said it needs another coat of paint yet and then we'll put the lid back or the roof back on and it has hinges at the top and yeah then i'll show it to you guys once it's all back together i had hopefully wanted to be able to paint this while nelson was cutting um, wood and working on the towel rack, but I ended up running after Zendaya during that time, and so I did not get this painted. So Nelson ended up doing this too, but it turned out really great, and the fact that he took it apart to paint it um, just gave it a great finished look because everything got well coated and just looked really nice in the end. Hey guys, so I told you I would show you the finished products of like what we were working on um, in the vlog and it was actually like last week that I filmed it. So I'm getting ready to edit it today and I haven't yet filmed or showed you guys the finished things of what we were doing. So we have like our towel rack hanging up here in our bathroom and Nelson just finished up with the barn like putting it back together and stuff. So I thought I would show you real quick what they look like all finished and completed and in use now so here is the towel rack in our bathroom and like i said it's in use but um yeah we hung it up here let me back up on this long wall opposite yeah of like our vanity and mirror and whatnot but anyways so we hung it up here and it's great it fills up a lot of the wall but i still have space here if i would want to do any more decorating but it works wonderfully and yes, I am so glad to have this project done and it turned out so great for us. And here is the barn guys. So we just have it setting over here and obviously you can see the inside. We didn't paint that or Nelson didn't since he did it, but 
Um, he did the outside and the roof and then he just put on these new hinges because, whoops, hold on one second. Here we go. So the back of it lifts up like this and it has like a loft or whatever you want to call it in the top. So Zendaya is already enjoying this so very much. I love having it redone so it kind of matches in with my whole theme here in my house and with the colors but it also is super cute and a great toy for her. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up for me. I think it was a little different than stuff that I've done before but I thought I would show you some of the things that I was excited to work on or get done and yeah, I thought I would share it with you guys. So anyways, if you're new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every Monday and I do a wider range of content, things with like homemaking and motherhood and different projects or creativity things. So anyways, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all next week in my next video. Bye y'all.